Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever, European Free Play Edition. And in the last couple episodes, we spent some time expanding out here to Chorleywood. We have a few road lines as well as some rail connecting into Chorleywood. We have this as our express train line. This is our local stopping off at different uh, towns line. We have our passenger line coming along, along this route. We have our freight road line going like that. And we have a future expansion of our TFM or just general freight along that line. What I would like to do is expand onwards to Curtin and Northwich with us being in 1908-ish, I feel we really need to push north. And the way you can tell which direction is north, for those who don't know what it is, if you click on a building or a uh, bus or something else, whichever way the camera here is oriented, in this case, like that, and if we were to adjust our... So it more or less reflects the, the way it is in the mini camera. That is north. That's how you can tell north. So how about that? Interesting tip. So yeah, I've been designating that as north and that direction is south. And what it basically means is in any 1x3, 1x4, 1x5, 1x2 map, North-South is the long part of the map, whereas East-West is the narrow part of the map. So we had gone up to Chorley Wood in the last couple episodes, and we have this bridge here, which is going to cost quite a bit. I have tried to record this before, but I didn't quite like how much money I actually spent on it. We currently have no loan. We have $1.65 million in the bank. We ended the last episode with about $12 million in the bank. It was November 27th, so some time has ticked by. And partially, I think that had to do with the fact that I think I did some things. Of course, I did some things. Why I had to advance time, I'm not sure. But I did build a couple stations here for future plans to expand to Curtin and Northwich. So here in Curtin, we have... A three platform station two tracks will continue on to Northwich the third will go up to Workingham we also have Northwich station over here it is curved and uh, this one goes off to Bullington and we have over here this line will be for the local route this line will be for the express route so it'll come here into Northwich Northwich to Chorleywood. We have this rail line here. This is basically the express line out to Chorleywood to Northwich. It's not going to be stopping in Curtin because reasons. Now, hmm, do I want to build this link? I kind of do. Although what I will probably do is do something a little bit different. What I will do is start with road because road is road. And I kind of want to get road traffic flowing between Trollywood and Curtin, encourage people to take an interest in traveling, and then we can expand the rail after that. So the best way to bring in, first of all, where is the, that's coming in right into there. Okay, so we are going to want to Can we not without, all right. And that is a downslope. So what do we have here? We have uh, 169, that is 140 and 110. Yep, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Now we are going to want to have and this took a lot of money to put in. I had to destroy a whole bunch of buildings here. And then as I tried to connect this, because we have a little bit of a hill here, uh, this side is higher than this side. I had to put it somewhere. 
and it was awkward trying to put it in and so yep I did destroy even more of the city now this is curtain central where do I want um, the local or the city city route to come into I kind of don't want them to come in there I kind of want I put it on the outskirts and then bring the buses in. Another option is I could just bring them in here. Maybe I can bring Workingham into this side to a station and then just have the curtain to Northwich and the curtain to Trolleywood come into here. And I can just have the local buses just go along the street. That's a possibility. Now, where is a good place to put the... Without destroying half the city, which is what I might have to do. Yeah, about that. We have that bridging there, and so I'm almost thinking bringing in the Trolleywood into here And then running that out to, or actually Northwich, probably connecting through here, coming straight into this. All right, about that. So we have a oil refinery here. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna start building and we are gonna go from here. And we are just going to, so this is going to probably go like that. Nope. And we are going to want to swing this around the lake or pond, whatever it would be. And we are gonna cross about there. Now, do I wanna cross here? Or do I bridge? First of all, we might as well see if we can build a large road across here. Yes, we can. We're probably definitely not going to be able to build a like that. Yep, we'll just do that and then connect that. Onto there. And then we are going to want this to come like this. And the entry point is over here. All right, I'm going to probably want to bring this close to the... I haven't really decided where I want freight to come in though. So this is just going to come across like this. And uh, do we... Do we tunnel? Sure. And then we want this. Around like that. We are going to cut through here. We can build it more expensive later. And there we go. So at least we have one road connection in with the city and the freight will probably go like that. Might as well build it right now. And like that. 
that. And we can readjust this later if we want to. Once we actually put in the rail. probably have is the rail you know what I might as well extend the rail just a bit last time I did this this bridge here quad tracking costs a crap ton and so yeah I'm going to try to avoid that um, do we we try to keep it on the flat. Sure. And we want to, so that's on that side. What I will probably do, train alignment collision. of want it to collision I can do that um, what I don't really want to do is start it in the tunnel then split it off because how the walls look inside the tunnels unless they've improved it um, let's borrow some more money Although then what I'll do is I'll just pull this back a bit and do that. 140, sure, we're at 1.5 million dollars. And so right now we're at a height of 103. Really? Okay, that's not very high. No, that's 112. Okay. And over here is about 125. And we are just going to keep this straight. I'm just going to keep it on the flat because this is going to be high speed rail. We're going to embankment it. To about there. To about there. Let's borrow. And we might as well complete this stretch. I will most likely be connecting at least the Chorleywood to Curtin line. I may not. Um, actually, I'm going to want to keep it up because I am going to have to go over the let's borrow actually 
Actually, we'll just leave that as is. Um, and now. We're going to want to raise it up. Seriously. All right. We'll just go to there and now we can bridge over. Like that. Here's a question, are we going to be able to do this without bridge pillar collisions? Nope, but we can sort that out later. Now. From here. Over to here, and that is actually the high-speed rail section. Let's bring it up a bit. Let's borrow a couple more. And then... kind of want to embankment it up to about there and then finish off the bridge although 101 yeah. one fourteen, which means we might want to pull that back That should be good enough. Oh, the 1.49 million dollars. Yeah, this bridge is gonna be expensive. We're up all re up to five and a half million dollars, and I did not necessarily want to spend this amount of money. One thing I could do is just uh, for now we'll complete this double tracking. We'll bring this up to about there. But what I would like to do is just temporarily connect that like that. And we are going to double slip that. We are then going to Crossover in, and for now, I am going to want to put a crossover like that. So, when we expand services, we will be able to send traffic along this. It'll just be single tracked, it will then split off to here or here. So, we have that. All that double tracked. 
up to curtain. So now if we want to, we can send the grays to Chorley Wood line onwards to curtain. And we'll save some money on this. I may leave this as is. I will probably not expand yet. Until I get up to Northwich, I'm not going to be expanding the express line. So this can survive on its own. We are going to want to have signals. Signal there eventually. We are going to throw Actually, there's not going to be any signals there. We are going to want signal that as one way, that as one way. We are going to want signal there. And for reasons I am going to Signal there. And then we are going to want a signal there before the bridge. One there. Throw another one there. Another one there. Let's let things roll just a bit. Get a little bit of money so that we don't have to borrow. And I'm just going to... All right, so we have the Chorleywood to Curtain section signaled up. And apparently I hit the... All right, we're up to $1.77 million in the bank. Let's repay. And what I would like to do, actually, yeah, we're just going to let things run and see how much we can repay before the end of the year. So December 27th, we're probably not going to get any more paid back. Although, there's another 500000 before the end of the year. We're down to a $3.5 million loan. So we made $51.8 million last year. We're already up to $55 million. Let's let things roll. and 2.28 million dollars wow and so we had a total of 55.3 million dollars up from 51.8 i'm pretty sure we had 50 something million in 1905 we had no new vehicles we had running costs of 29.1 million so we're at a less than a two to one ratio our road line 19.8 million on seven and a half million in running cost that's almost a three to one 22 and a half million dollars of income would be three to one yeah our rail 14.4 million dollars we're only making a profit of about 8.3 million dollars that's less than a three to two ratio ish yep trams are up to 471k 337k in so yeah they're barely making a profit 12.4 million in water that's gone up slightly on 6.88 million dollars of it running costs if we were to take a look at yeah we got a lot of passenger numbers and over here we got 40 20 and 23 we are running Frontenax and over here we are running these are riggies okay we have 13 one and go to dursley to ludgers hall and no one for dunwich over here do we have anyone and that's a problem oh we have eight people in that uh, ship there so people are interested and able to take that line we got 32 and 67. How many vehicles do we have on? Oh, no, no. 
how many vehicles do we have on the line? We got six with three wagons on each, 33 capacity. I think we should be fine for capacity. Although we do got a ton of people. Southgate Askern. Let's buy some post buses. They have eight capacity. All right. Let's borrow a couple million so that we can buy a couple post buses for the 4P line and one for the 5P line. Although I think I saw, yep, post bus coming. You, 5P, no, no, why are you going that way? You are going to Askern North and we are in Askern. You are going to Askern North. You are going to Southgate. We need you to go to Askern. You are going to Askern. You are going to Askern. You are going to Askern and Southgate. Wow, for all those buses going to Askern. On that line. Yep, just pick up and go. Once you got passengers, pick up and go. And just to make sure, yep, they are on separate. Yep, just go. And you, just go. So we have 41 people. And we have here 81 and go to Southgate. I'm sure I'm going to get comments, put more buses on, put more trains, put more of everything. As long as there's people waiting, that means we have full trains. So I'm not too concerned about lots of people waiting. And 12, 19, and 19. We got over here Dover Court, 15 and 41. Got one of those coming over, 19 of 75. That one coming in. And we have 26. Where's the nearest? Right there. All right, so we want to head back over in this direction. And I would like to set up a new line going from here over to hmm let's bring them into here and this is going to be the 7p line is it six f and six p was done with charlie wood so yeah seven p Chorley Wood to Curtain. And we are going to buy Road Depot. Over here, we are going to buy a post bus and the Chorley Wood to Curtain. And you're going to Curtain. We are going to buy another one here. Northwich is, yep, yeah, we're not even there yet. Chorleywood to Curtin. And you are going to Chorleywood. And I want to get people traveling. So that's why we're setting up that first. So, yeah. All right, let's repay some of our loan. It is March 5th. Now, 
I'm going to do is bring this around something like right there. Kind of want this to come up and then up into there. to want to bring that up like that. And if we can, I would like to maybe right in through here. Just drop it down and then into there. I am going to want to have line going up to Bullington, one over to Curtin. We could just from here put a passenger. Now, small street will ex extend. And then I want a medium street. going to just raise that up and what I might just can I bring this across unfortunately bridge pillar collision that one option is here this across to there and if we can let's bring this across to about there across to about here and then we are going to bring this across through here yes we can Let's 
small street in like that. All right, that works. Now, did I? No, I didn't. That's right, this is gonna fit a bus tram station in here. Bother. Right there. Alright, so I am going to bring in my road lines in like that. But right now, that is not the focus. The focus is on Curtin. And then in the next episode, we'll extend out to Northwich. At this point in time, we have the Chorleywood to Curtin line. What I'm going to do is we are going to create a new line. This is going to be the... Uh, is this going to be the 08? Yeah, we'll do 08 P curtain to whatever that is. North which. And we are going to set it up, but we are not actually going to run it. That over to there, cannot connect all stations, that is fine. And the line's gonna report some problems. Yeah, yeah, I know. Too bad, so sad. We're not building it right now. I usually ignore the warnings anyway. <laughs> so, let's let things roll. And graze the trolley wood. You know what? What is the frequency of the Graze the Chorleywood line? Graze the Chorleywood, five minute frequency with six trains on it. Let's extend that a little bit further. So Chorleywood, we need to extend that out to Curtin. And then we need to head back over here to Chorleywood, then Dunwich, then Asker, and then Southgate. This is going to be renamed once again to Curtain. Graze the Curtain. It's a rather lengthy line, so taking a look at that, that bumps it up to an eight minute frequency. And what I would like to do Yeah, those 14 are going onwards to Curtin, not because they need to get up there, but just because, yeah, that was the next stop. Uh, Trollywood Askern, what I'm going to do is we are going to buy another train, and we are running the PLMs with the compartment cars. PLM, we have not enough money. Let's borrow PLM, three compartment cars, borrow some more. And on the graze the curtain line. That brings that down to a seven minute frequency, so we are going to definitely want another train. Now you. You are going to Dunwich, but which Dunwich stop are you going to? You're going to the Via Askern. Okay. You will fill up, because we are not going to obviously have another... Actually, no, we'll have another train coming. There is the train. What I'm going to do right now is we are going to ride this train along this route. And yeah, I'm going to have to eventually... When we have the money, we will widen this. We won't be extending onwards to Northwich at least for our... Um, yeah, express train until we actually get to 
Northwich. This is the new passenger rail line. A little bit of a roller coaster. I might flatten that out so at where the bridge starts, make that a little bit more gradual. But this is pretty much on a flat because, of course, we built it on the flat. Mainly because we're at a point where we have lots of money coming in. We can invest in making things optimal. And so we don't really need to worry too much about whether or not the line is functioning properly. Whether the line is a little bit roller coaster-ish. At this point in time, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever, European Free Play Edition. We're coming on into Curtain. Of course, with that said, these passengers will not be dropping off in Curtain because they were destined for Askern. But we do have two people showing up, so people are interested in taking the train. Didn't take very long. We have $3 million in the bank. And yet we picked up a few more people. And that is that. Although... Oh, no, no. That's right. That's right. That's the express chain. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Scott Gaming. And as always, have a good day.